here's just one. When you find your places, if you'll stand with me in reverence to God's word. Yeah. Starting in Psalms chapter 100, verse 1. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. Yeah. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him, and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Amen. I will sing of mercy and judgment. Unto Thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O, oh, and wilt Thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Yeah. A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for your word tonight. Lord, we thank you for the service that we've had thus far. And the hymns, Lord, the singing, Lord, we just thank you that we can come to you. Lord, that we can cast our cares upon you. And Lord, receive the peace that you give that passes all understanding. And Lord, we just pray that you would comfort our hearts in your word tonight. That you would exhort us. Lord, that you would... Uh, Lord, edify us, that you would rebuke us, Lord, if there is any wicked way in us. Lord, that we might truly give all that we have to you yeah. and your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In verse, or in Psalm 100, it talks about praising the Lord, making a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serving the Lord with gladness, coming before His presence with singing, uh, entering into His gates with thanksgiving, into His courts with praise, being thankful unto Him and blessing His name. Yeah. Why? Before? Because the Lord is good. Yeah. Amen. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endures to all generations. Yeah. Amen. His compassions fail not. Amen. His mercy is new every morning. Amen. And it's only because of His compassion upon us that we are alive today. Amen. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. Amen. There is no other. He is the Creator. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. This is His earth and everything that is in the universe yeah. is His. And we are His. Amen. We are not ourselves. We did not make us. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Yeah. Serve the Lord with gladness. You say, how do we serve the Lord with gladness? Walk in a perfect way. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you're going to serve the Lord with gladness. In Psalm 101, he says, uh, I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Yeah. That's the way that we are going to serve God uh, with gladness, is if we walk in His ways and not our own. Yeah. 
You try serving God your own way and it's going to lead you down a path of sorrow and misery. Amen. But you serve God His way and your heart will be glad. Amen. Amen. Your life will be glad. If the circumstances surrounding you might not be the best. In fact, from a, a, a person that does not know you, from their vantage point, your life might be falling apart. You know what? In the midst of the storm, you can have peace and understanding if you're walking with the Lord. Amen? Amen. If you're holding to His hand Amen. and going the path that He has laid for you in His Word. Look at Psalms chapter 119. Psalms 119 verses 105. Down to 112. Starting in verse 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech thee, or except I beseech thee, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I heard not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever. Amen. For they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. Amen. You see, the word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our path. Yeah. It teaches us the ways of God. Amen. It teaches us the, in the way that we should live and to conduct our affairs. Amen. In this life, it teaches us how we ought to treat one another and how we ought to love. Amen. As He loved and gave His son, only Son to die for our sins. Yeah. That sacrificial love, not that love that, what can you do for me lately, love, yeah. but that love that I love you no matter what, because I want God to work in your life Amen. as He has had mercy on me and worked in mine. Amen. He says in verse 107, I am afflicted very much. Amen. Uh, people have this idea that serving God, once you give your life to the Lord, that you'll have no more problems. And that's a lie straight from Satan. Amen. Amen. Because the more that you get closer to the Lord, the more that Satan is going to fight you. Amen. And the more problems it's going to seem arise in your life. Because you're trying to live your life according to the Scriptures. Yeah. But you know what? It is the Word of God that quickens us. Amen. He says, I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy Word. Amen. His Word not only is a light unto our path, but it makes us alive. Amen. Yeah. It gives us a hope, steadfast and sure. Amen. Yeah. An anchor to the soul. That even in life's uh, valleys and even in life's uh, storms, we can stay strong Amen. because of His Word. Amen. That is how we will please Him. That is how we will serve the Lord with gladness. Even in times of trials, listen, if it's done in the flesh, it will not last. Amen? Amen. But if it's done in the Spirit, it will reap unto everlasting life. Amen? Amen. Look at Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, starting in verse 9, it says, Now remember, we're talking about serving the Lord with gladness. Amen. The Bible tells us to give cheerfully. Yeah. Amen. For God loveth a cheerful giver. In verse 9, it says, Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Yeah. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Yeah. Happy, listen to this, happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Yeah. 
Amen. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Amen. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Amen. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Amen. Her ways are, the, are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is every one that retaineth her. Amen. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. Amen. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Yeah. You know what's going to have uh, gladness and keep gladness in your life and happiness and joy is when your soul is right with the Lord. Amen? Yeah. Your body can be crumbling around you, but if your soul is right with the Lord, you can praise His name. You can come before His presence with thanksgiving because of what He's done in your soul and in your heart. Amen? Amen. And your soul is going to be made right in the Word of God by the wisdom and knowledge of His Scriptures. Yeah. Look at 1 John chapter 5. First John chapter 5 and verses 1 through 4 it says... <clears throat> Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him that begat, loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love God, the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Yeah. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Yeah. Amen? Faith is the victory, but faith worketh by love. Amen? Yeah. If faith is not working by love, then it's going to be a faith that dwindles and dwindles and dwindles until there is no joy in serving the Lord. Yeah. There is no joy in coming before His presence. There is no joy in entering into His gates and into His courts with praise. There's not going to be any joy in serving the Lord if it is not by love. Amen? Because we love God. We love His Son, Jesus Christ. And we love His children. Yeah. And then by faith we overcome. We have the victory. Because, let me tell you, our joy, amen, our joy is not only our strength, but is our victory, amen? Because when Satan throws us for a loop, and we don't get discouraged, amen, when Satan puts a stumbling block in our way, and we don't get down, amen, but we praise the Lord for what He is doing in our life, and praise God for whatever He allows in our lives, knowing that it is for our good, and that it is going to bring strength in our inner man. Amen. Because we trust in God and in His Word. And He is going to do the work in us of His will and good pleasure. Then we can have joy in our lives because it's not something that we can do ourselves. Amen? We can't hold on to things and keep them from falling apart. But when they fall apart, we can hold on to God who is the rock of our salvation. He is the one that is the foundation. Amen? And we can stand upon that rock. Winds and the rain comes, and we will stand firm. Amen. Amen. Because we stand on the rock Amen. and not on possessions and not on things, not on the temporal things of this life, Amen. but on those things that are eternal. Know that the Lord is God, and we are His people. Amen. Amen. We are the sheep of His pasture, and He cares for us. Amen. Amen. 
He loves us. He wants to work in our lives. He wants to use us to work in others' lives. But we have to totally trust in Him. Amen. Yeah. It takes total dependence upon the sovereignty of God yeah. and upon the grace of God in order to be able to stand when the Lord calls. Amen. To stand. Yeah. Look at Psalms chapter 23, and I know we all know this, but we're going to read it tonight. Psalm chapter 23, and starting in verse 1, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. And the very next thing is the only conclusion from that. Yeah. I shall not want. Amen. Amen. If the Lord is your shepherd, then you have all you need. Yeah. Because yes. He's providing everything you need. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added Amen. unto you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Yeah. Amen. It sounds like he should be upset, shouldn't it? But he's praising the Lord because even in the midst of his enemies, he has a table from the Lord. Yeah. The man up from heaven to feed his soul where his cup runneth over. Yeah. His head is anointed with that oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. <clears throat> Why does surely goodness and mercy follow us? Because we're following Him. Amen. Amen. Not because we're following the world. Not because we're following our own way. But when we follow Him, then surely goodness and mercy will follow me all Amen. the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Amen. That's God's perfect plan. Yes. Yeah. Amen. That's God's perfect plan for each and every one of us. Amen. Is to follow Him. To have that goodness, that mercy, and to dwell with Him forever yeah. in His yeah. house. Look at James chapter 1. You see, it wasn't Jesus that took His eyes off of Paul. I mean, Peter. Excuse me. Was it Jesus that looked around and took his eyes off of Peter and forgot about Peter? And Peter started sinking. No, it was Peter that took his eyes off of Jesus yeah. and started to sink. You see, Jesus, he does not forsake. Yeah. But we do sometimes. And when we slip and we fall, we can reach out our hand and say, Save me, just like Peter did. Yeah. And Jesus, his mercy will reach down and pick us back up. Amen. Amen. James chapter 1 and verse 13 through 15 says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. God would not do that. He cannot do that. Amen. He loves us too much. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. You see, what draws us away from God is our own lust. Mm -hmm. It's our own sin. And enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Right. You know what? God is never going to send us away. Amen? If God is not present in our life, it's because we have left Him, Amen. not because He has left us. Right. Jesus said that they will come unto Him, and He, all they that comes unto Him, He will in no wise cast out. Amen. Amen. Come unto me, all ye that labor. And our heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. It says, Wherefore, seeing we all also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. 
looking at what? To Jesus. Looking at the person in front of us, or the person behind us, or the person on each side, seeing what they're doing, seeing how they're doing. No, we are to look at the Jesus, Amen. the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Not at the problems, but at Jesus. Because when we look at Jesus, the problems can uh, start to fade away. Amen. Amen. When we look to Jesus, our darkness starts turning into light. Mm -hmm. When we look to Jesus, our problems start looking at uh, 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 opportunities for God to work. Amen? Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yeah. That's the prize. Amen? is when we reach the throne of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then we can say it was worth every mile. Amen. Amen. It was worth every valley that I crossed. Every river. Amen. Every battle that I faced. It was worth it. Yeah. To receive the prize of the everlasting Father. He says, Enter into His gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Yeah. Amen. Don't let this world get you down. <coughs> it will. Amen. This world will drag you down right along with it if you let it. Yeah. But if you'll put your heart upon the Lord. If you'll put your faith in his word. And if you will purpose in your heart to follow him. To give him your life and everything that pertains to your life. Yeah. Then God's promise will be unto you as it is in verse 6 of Psalm 101. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. Amen. God's going to look at those who are faithful to Him and He's going to say, they will dwell with me. Yeah. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. Amen. Yeah. It's that person that is looking for God to work in their life by faith in his word. Amen. Because that's where the power comes from is by faith. He goes on and says, He that worketh the seed shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Yeah. We need to enter into His gates. Amen. And with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Yeah. Because, you know what, even though we are not faithful to Him, most of the time, He is always faithful to us. Yes. Yeah. Amen. He is always faithful to us. Look at Psalms 119. Verse 62 through 63. 119 and verse 62 and 63 it says, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. Yeah. Amen. Not only do we need the presence of the Lord, but we do need each other. Amen. Yes, that's right. We do need each other. We need each other's love. We need each other's care and compassion. Amen. And strength. Look at Colossians chapter 3. Jesus did not want us... God does not want us to come out from among them and be separate, to be alone, amen, but to be a part of His body, to be accepted in the blood, yeah. to have a family in God's family, amen, in God's kingdom amen. that loves you, that loves each other, and that stands for each other. Colossians chapter 3 and verses 16 and 17, it says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. 
And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Yeah. You see, we need each other. Amen? We need each other to teach and admonish one another. Amen? We all need that. Amen. Whether we like to admit it or all, uh, we need that from each other. Amen. Hey, I, just because I'm the pastor, pastor doesn't mean that I don't learn uh, from everyone else. Yeah. Doesn't mean that I don't come to church sometimes weak and weary and need someone to stand up and give a testimony or need someone to stand up and sing a song that brings joy to my heart and gives me strength to carry on yeah. and to preach the message that God has laid on my heart. Amen. We need each other, amen, yeah. to lift each other up. We need each other to stand in the gap for one another. Yeah. And not only to do it for just one another, but whatever we do, we do it for the Lord. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. In the name of the Lord. Giving thanks to Jesus and God and the Father by Him. Look at Hebrews chapter 10. We all know this verse, but we're going to close with this verse. <coughs> Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. Now who do we meet with? We meet with each other, but we meet with God. Amen? Yeah. That's why it says ourselves. Amen. That's right. As the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And this is the important part right here. Mm -hmm. But exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, the day is approaching. Yes, it is. Amen. The day is approaching. Amen. For some quicker than others. But yet it is still coming fast. Yeah. And we need to exhort one another. We also need the exhortation from God. Amen. Amen. We need to be uplifted by His Spirit. We need that strength. And we need to do it more and more as we see the day approaching. Yeah. The worse times get, the more we're going to need it. Amen. <laughs> and we are going to continue to need it. Serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. Amen. We serve such a great God. Amen. Such a loving God. Such a merciful God. Such a compassionate God. Such a long-suffering God. Amen. We can serve Him with gladness because we know that He loves us. Yeah. Amen. We know that He cares for us. Let's stand. Yeah.